Welcome to my channel. If you like to grow, you like to know, or you simply just want to come and hang out, go ahead and press that like and subscribe button and you'll be notified each and every time I go live or upload a brand new video. Now let's get into this video. Hey YouTube family, it's Casey from Totally Designs. I'm here to talk about yesterday's vending. <laughs> the vending event that I was looking forward to. The unplanned debacle. Now, you'll know why it's called a debacle after this video. Now, I plan to sell at this particular event. I'm not going to say the name yet because I'm going to give them a chance to maybe redo some things and to maybe revamp some things and improve. Uh, I don't want to weigh it out just yet. So I'm not going to give the name I'm gonna see if they're gonna fix what went wrong yesterday. As of yesterday, I was supposed to have been at this girl's day out event. Um, what I found out was the event was moved from the location in which it was originally going to be hosted at. Mind you, I did not get a change of notification of site until Thursday evening which I didn't even receive it because it didn't come in the regular <laughs> mail I don't know where it was it got lost or something that's not the point according to them they sent out a three-day notice stating that they were going to change the place in which the that which the event was going to be happening at that's a big no-no you don't change the event when it is three days away from the event because you've already put advertisement out there unless you have this broad marketing uh duo dynamic duo that can literally change the trajectory of the people that is coming to this event at said place unless you are a marketing guru and you can do it on the news and say, hey, this event has been changed. You cannot change it within three days. But I want you to understand and know, when people are throwing these events, vendors, hear me and hear me well. When they are throwing these type of events, you must be prepared for the insanity. Now, these people are new. The vending price was not that bad. Um, I gave it a chance. Now, I always give like new things a chance because you never know, right? You never know. It's always good to try something new one time. It's not going to hurt. It's, it, you know, it's a learning experience. It's a curve sometimes, you know, sometimes it's a hit or miss. But in this case, I saw the unpreparedness, the unprofessionalism, um, the unorganization. Because even in the new location, they did not have people flowing in. They didn't have it where there were signs going down the block and saying, hey, here's the girls events day. Come shop with us. They had nothing. These people were not prepared. And so in this instance, guys, you cannot prepare for an unplanned debacle. You have to work with it. You have to become innovative all of a sudden. You have to figure it out. The other part about this that was very troubling to me is that the other place in which they were supposed to have this event at, they didn't even put up a sign saying, sorry for the inconvenience, the venue has now been changed to said location. I'm telling you guys, if you want to vend, you got to check people out. 
I'm not going to give them a bad review yet. I'm actually going to write them a strong email and I'm going to either request my money back or I am going to have them forward it to another event and we're going to try that one out. I don't like bad mouthing events because I always try to give people the benefit of the doubt, but this was sloppy y'all. It was sloppy. And I'm telling you guys, there are times where you guys are going to run into these places where they are sloppy and it makes you not ever want to do it again. But as a vendor, you got to be able to figure out, okay, if the, if the, the planners fall through, if the advertisement falls through, what can I do as a vendor to maximize or make a, 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 good, a good situation out of a bad situation? Or do I have to just ride the wave? Now, I went there and I did make some sales, but the problem is the foot traffic, they robbed us of the foot traffic. So now I have to employ getting on Facebook, saying where I am, um, doing other things. You know, uh, if I had invited someone, I would have had to apologize for, you know, um, you going to the wrong place. And so I'm saying all of this to say, guys, you have to be prepared for these things. These are real life things. Every venue that you go through is not, not going to be perfect. Every event is not going to be the dream event. Really is for you to get exposure and for people to see what you sell, for you to network with other people. There are lots of things involved in an event it's not just making sales you're actually networking with other artists that are there you, there are other promoters that walk through there you know while i was there the owner of the brewery said hey you know what guys i'm gonna follow you on your instagram and you guys can come here and vend for free because she felt so bad that nobody was there so I'm saying you have to figure out how to make um, a situation better, right? You have to figure out how do we make this situation better. Sometimes you can and sometimes you can't. But I wanted to share my experience because I was so irritated, y'all. I mean, I was so irritated. Because now I got to come to this event when I was supposed to be at the other event trying to set up. Now I got to go find this other place. One of my friends just said she ain't doing it no more. I'm not going to, I'm not going to give up on it like that, but they definitely going to give me my money back. And that's the thing y'all, y'all have a right to ask for your money back. If you feel like the event did not give you the advantage especially if they're gonna change the venue three days two days one day in advance now had it been two weeks three weeks 30 days that would have been okay i would have even said listen y'all we got to cancel this event and what we're going to do is forward your money to the next event they didn't even do that, y'all. This is what I'm talking about. You have to figure it out. You got to figure it out, y'all. I'm just going to tell you that right now. You got to figure out, go do some walkthroughs, uh, find out um, whether or not these people are reputable. You know, you got to find out a whole lot of stuff before you just go and vend at, at somebody's event. And so this has been my rat and my rave about the unplanned debacle. You cannot plan for a day like that. You just cannot. But I'm telling you as a vendor, you got to watch out. Be aware. Because even if they not scamming, they scamming. I'll talk to y'all later.